here we back now this is gonna be an interesting video for a variety of reasons as y'all know we've been covering the passport bros fiasco now this is not gonna be a passport bros video but i think it's a decent topic to follow up with before i jump into my commentary i'm gonna play a clip from a young lady on social media who was given her opinion on something that michelle obama had said or did on national tv that she felt was not how do i say the best thing for her image and also the image of black women in general right so i have a lot to say about it in various directions so i'm gonna play the clip and i'm gonna come right back let's go michelle obama said something recently that i think she should apologize for people think i'm being catty by saying this it's like there were 10 years well i couldn't stand my husband just in case you didn't catch that the man that she said that she couldn't stand for 10 years just so happened to be the 44th president of the United States of America. That's kind of a big deal. Where else do you even see this? What other wife of a high ranking official would even say something like that? That was wildly irresponsible. It was flagrantly disrespectful and we cannot have a civil society where the first lady of the United States thinks that her celebrity status supersedes any type of public respect that she should have for her husband okay she needs to apologize for that you know what as a black woman it's embarrassing and i'm tired of that narrative it's sickening please enough do you ever see the president of france's wife saying this kind of stuff no queen elizabeth speaking that way about prince philip no she was the queen of england do you think vladimir putin's wife if he were still married, do you think that she would say something like that? Absolutely not. But if Michelle Obama says it, it's supposed to be okay. It's not okay. And I don't expect most black women to hear me on this because most black women were not raised in a household where the man is in proper leadership. They weren't raised with fathers in their lives. This is not a condemnation of her. This is a condemnation of that type of ideology and, and mentality that thinks that it's okay and it's all, all right to say that in public. It is not. If that is how you feel, keep it to yourself. There are certain things that you don't let out of the house when you are a married person. You're the first lady of the United States. She knows this. I thought feminism means equality. Actually, no man can get up and say that, that they hated their wife or they couldn't stand their wife for 10 years. And on top of all of that, this man for 10 years that she couldn't stand, He's kind of the whole reason we even know who she is. Now, let's jump into it. As you can see, we got a lot to unpack. We got a lot to unpack. Where do we begin? Now, first things first, as you know, if you watch my previous videos, I've said it and I've said it before. In my opinion, I think women across the world, they got the same operating system, right? They got the same operating system, different cultural markings, right? Different cultural markers that influence their behavior, thought process, whatever, whatever. The operating system is the same. The cultural markers are different, but they can change depending on whatever environment that you drop upon her. They respond to the environment. They respond to the culture around them. As you know, if you've been following and paying attention to the passport bros debates the passport bros discussions that's been going back and forth as someone like myself who's been watching from the sidelines my mother she's a she's an immigrant to the united states she's a foreigner and i spent a decent majority of my life within the united states so personally i don't really have a dog in the fight in terms of which woman is superior the foreign woman the domestic woman my opinion has always remained the same women have the same operating system different cultural markers now as someone who's been watching the debates go back and forth especially even in my comments section on videos that i've dropped around the topic i've seen women say certain things like well if the men that are going overseas if they were men of quality if they were men of you know men who were building and men who are productive and men who are like i said doing the things that i tell men to do on my channel right i always tell men to be productive i always tell men to dream big i always tell men listen chase the wealth chase the power that's all that matters anything else is secondary right so i'm not against that message but i always hear this said i always hear well if the men were you know men who were at the top of the class the top of the rank then women could be feminine women could be submissive women could be respectful so in this topic we got president barack obama right we're not going to talk about his political career we're just going to talk about president barack obama one of the most powerful black men one of the most famous black men to ever walk the face of the earth i think they said he's like the second most famous individual right next to jesus and i'm not even joking there was this major publication i forget the name but they listed the most famous individuals to ever walk the planet and then it was like jesus and then it was barack obama so now we got president barack and this is not the first time that i've seen michelle go public and actually i don't want to say minimize barack but kind of i guess you can say operate in a way that you wouldn't really think that the wife of one of the most famous most powerful black men to ever walk the face of the planet would really operate in the public eye or even say certain things because i know men that don't even hold such a prestigious position in society 
and their wives give them the utmost honor and respect and they would never even go around other family and friends and say things like man there was a time man i couldn't stand like it, it would just be always honor and respect so much so to the point where i have a grandmother who's in her mid 90s her husband passed away back when like in the mid 90s like damn near over 20 years ago and she still gives that man honor and respect i ain't never heard her speak a bad word about that man and he hasn't even been around for almost 30 years so there are men who are not even walking the planet anymore and their wives that they left behind still give them the utmost gratitude and respect and honor when they speak their name right and michelle obama has been guilty of this on multiple occasions this is just one clip of many that i've seen of her kind of kind of i don't want it's not throwing dirt on barack but kind of like acting like barack ain't really who he is you know what i mean like that's the best way i could say it she's talking about barack like he ain't barack and why do i tie that back to the passport bros discussion going back to what i said about women are the same they have the same operating system regardless of their location they have different cultural markers you see the culture of the united states in north america specifically right and this is something that is completely out of the hands of the women right like i said the men, specifically the men of European ancestry that founded and currently control this nation, this is the culture that they have created. And the women, like I said, they respond to their environment. So the environment has been manufactured in a way by the men who founded the country and set it up and continue to maintain it to where women feel comfortable minimizing the importance of men, minimizing what men bring to the table, minimizing what men bring to society. This is a cultural marker that is specific to this landmass, North America, right? And going back to what I said, the women did not construct this society. So when we see them acting and operating and speaking and saying and doing certain things, they are responding to the environment around them. That is a cultural marker that they are responding to. That's why I say women are the same, but they have different cultural markers. And the men who constructed this society and manufactured it in this manner, they actually go overseas using their political muscle to influence other societies to manufacture the same behaviors. Now, why do they do that? Listen, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm not going to sit here and throw those type of things out at the wall. That's not my channel. That's not my expertise. I'm just saying this is what's happening and this is what they do. This is something that they have always done going back to the missionaries that would go to foreign lands and try to influence the people and influence their cultural markers to make them operate in a way that they deem is more acceptable, that they deem is more aligned with their society. Right. This is something that they've always done. I'm not going to discuss why they're trying to bring the thoughts and values of the west over to foreign territories but that's a topic for another day what i'm saying is when the women who are against the passport bros say things like well if men were building if men were operating in their masculinity then women would be able to operate in their femininity and everything would be right with the world right i was never really in agreement with that point because i understand the cultural markers of the women of north america and it's not specific to just black women black women in north america right this is something that affects all groups of women living on this landmass including the women who are from immigrant backgrounds who come and live here as well they also adopt the same ideology to where i can even see it in my own family like i said my grandmother whose husband passed away almost 30 years ago and she still speaks of that man with nothing but honor and respect every time she speaks of his name and I can see in my younger sisters who are born and raised over here, they've adopted certain ideologies and talking points to where I can see they don't really hold men in the same honor and respect that my grandmother does, right? My mother does, right? Both women who were born and raised in another location under a different culture with different cultural markers by their environment, right? They responded to their environment, so they've been... I don't want to say manufactured in a way, but they've been brought up in a way to where they naturally have a built in respect for men to where they would never go on a public platform, regardless of what's going on at home and say, I couldn't stand this man. I couldn't stand this man, even though this man gave me everything that I possess today, even though this man is the reason why I'm standing here today, even though this man has done so much for our family and our lineage and our bloodline that it cannot be replicated. My grandfather, who was a farmer and came to America to work on cruise ships, he gets more honor and respect than President Barack Obama. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. That's why I say the difference cultural markers are kind of influencing women from north america to operate in such a way to where i can understand why brothers over here be packing their luggage and grabbing their passports and hopping on that you know jet blue i can understand it but at the same time like i said i maintain the position that women are the same and this woman on the screen right here she's a woman living in the united states i believe somewhere down south i can tell by the accent probably tennessee or something like that she is a harvard graduate she's a harvard graduate i follow her on social media so you can find women who got their head on straight in the united states now it's gonna be way more difficult because it's not in large quantities because the society is not manufacturing women with this mindset right the culture is gonna mold the woman and the man to be who they are right and to keep it real the talking point never really made much sense to me they said that if men were masculine then we would be feminine but 
a man is going to be masculine no matter what. Like, I'm still going to get up and handle my business and do what I got to do, whether you're here or not. Whether I'm single or I got, you know, five, four chicks on the roster. Like, I'm still going to be a man regardless of whatever you got going on. So I never really understood when they would say, um, well, if you're if you're a man, then I'm going to be a woman. But if you're not a man, then I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to respect you. I'm not going to be a woman. Like, I never really understood that talking point. And I never believed them when they say, well, if men are building and productive, then we're going to we're going to respect them. Because I've seen dudes who are building and productive and and they still get played i even told a story the other day a video titled story time my oldest sister destroyed kevin samuel's doctrine i spoke about how my sister fresh out of college had a had a boyfriend had a fiance right fresh into his career right credit right goes to church every sunday devoted to jesus then what happened she canceled the wedding left him for a dude who had a had a baby mama and a kid already whole bunch of craziness but go watch that video go watch that video for more details on that but like i said i've seen where listen it doesn't really matter what what a guy got going on if the woman has not been influenced by her culture and her background and her society in a way to naturally respect what she's supposed to respect because let me tell you this women in america they do respect one thing though they do get in pocket for one thing though you know what that is you know what that is their job their career whatever they do for a living whatever corporation they work for right the society has trained them in a way to minimize the importance of what a husband can bring to the table and maximize the importance of what an employer can bring to the table right in both cases it's both a man right the husband is a man the boss most likely is also a man in most cases and as someone who comes from a family who owns businesses who employs women from outside and inside of the family i can tell you this right now when a woman works for you yes you are going to get that honor and respect yes she's going to pick up the phone when you call yes she's going to be showing up at the exact time you said yes she's going to do everything that you asked yes because she wants that paycheck yes and i even spoke about something similar in the video that i dropped about meli monaco and mtr listen it's best if the women in your family work for you also because like i said due to the cultural markers that have influenced women living in north america they have more respect for their employer than their husband so it's best to be an employer and if you are a husband it's best to also employ your women if you are not in a situation like that you better make sure you have a woman who has her head on straight and she's not influenced in that way for example the women in my family not all of them work for the family business not all of them work for their husbands whatever but they also have massive honor and respect for their husband right i've never seen the women in my family speak a negative word about the men they're involved with in public ever i've never seen it i've just never seen it and these men have never achieved what president barack obama has achieved so if these men are just regular doctors lawyers hotel managers etc etc and they're getting more respect than president barack obama even going back to my grandfather who all he did was work on cruise ships he would travel to america six months out the year leave my grandmother behind back home you know handling everything tending to the kids doing what she's supposed to do as a wife and her husband not even here for half the year getting to the money overseas and then when he would come back home he was a farmer he would tend to the land do things of that nature so you mean to tell me we got farmers and we got you know men working on cruise ships back in the day that got more respect than president barack obama man listen man man listen man listen that's why i say even though i don't really connect with the passport bros movement because to be honest the countries that you guys fly to i don't really think that they're selling what i'm trying to buy they don't really what they have available isn't really what i'm in the market for because if you watch my video on austin holliman last night He's flying over Asia. Now he in Thailand trying to go to the Philippines. Then he going to stop in Europe, bro. If I'm looking for a wife, the last place I'm going to go is the European continent, right? If we say that this society was constructed in a way to influence women to think and operate in a way that is not conducive to families. Okay, so who constructed this society? Men of European ancestry. So why would I go to their headquarters to find a wife? That's why I say, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. And plus, it's got to be about, what, 500 million, 700 million black women on the planet and of that number the vast majority are what you would call foreign overseas and they also have the knowledge and understanding that they should never go on national tv and disrespect their husband and speak ill of him in front of the public so the reason why i say i don't really fully connect with the movement the whole passport bros thing is because there's an endless amount of women black women around the world that have the same mentality that you're looking for that have everything already equipped that you're looking for but i don't really see those countries as hot spots on the passport bros discussion right at the same time i'm not i'm not encouraging you to go switch destinations and go speed rush into those nations i'm not saying that i'm not saying that because you know we don't need a bunch of dudes running around with the cameras running up in the local markets you know asking crazy questions we don't need that i'm not saying that but i'm just saying because i never really see you guys in that direction i don't really fully connect with the movement but i do understand where you guys come from on certain things regarding like i said 
the cultural markers of the women living in North America. But that's something that is not up to their control, right? They respond to the environment. If you drop her in another environment where those thoughts and behaviors and ideologies wouldn't fly, you would see how fast she would adapt. And you know how I know this? Because we see how foreign women who come to the United States adapt to the environment as well in reverse. We see how they go from respectful, honorable and they come and adapt all the same ideologies as the women living on the landmass they respond to the cultural markers the environment created by the men who are in charge and the men who are in charge are not us they are men of european ancestry a very small amount a very small exclusive club of very wealthy powerful men that pretty much influence the way the society goes starting all the way down to the educational curriculum from the pre-k level all the way to the top all the way to the media and the construction of the society the women and the men are simply a product of their environment so i understand why you guys want to switch environments where a lot of the things that are going on here are not going on over there i understand that the only place that i don't agree is you guys seem to be looking for a different variety of women than i'm looking for so that's why i go in my own individual direction we separate at the intersection and even within the united states you got a you got a small remnant you know what i'm saying you got a small little a small little remnant, a small concentration of females that still maintain those ideologies and qualities and behaviors and virtues that you're looking for in the women overseas. Like I said, the woman on the screen, she's not a foreign woman, right? I think she's a I think she's a woman born and raised domestically stateside. She's from here, right? So I believe even judging by the accent, she's somewhere in the deep south. So you could still find those women here, right? You could still find those women here, but I don't know if you guys would want them because I don't know if you guys are looking for a woman like this up on the screen. Like I said, black woman, natural hair, everything just looking on point. I don't know, man. I don't think you guys would be in the market for that. I think you guys wouldn't really want this in this packaging i could be wrong but that's just what i see right but in summary i agree with most of what she said you wouldn't see any head of state any wife of any other head of state speaking in this manner you wouldn't even see it wouldn't even have to be a head of state you wouldn't even see the wife of the farmer in these foreign countries speaking in this manner you wouldn't even see the wife of the of the local mayor speaking in this way in these foreign countries man you wouldn't even hear the wife of the local gangbanger speaking in this way in these foreign countries bro so i say the reason why barack obama gets embarrassed this way is because unfortunately this is a product of the environment right the women are a product of their environment as the men are too the same way women have responded to the environment because they've been socialized in a way from a young age to value things like their career their job over husband and family that's not in their control but because they've been socialized in this way the men have responded to the environment where they say okay the women by and large no longer respect and value husband and marriage they more so respect career chasing money okay the men have responded in their own way by saying we no longer value marriage right now as i said on my channel i still value marriage but I've said men should go to a different location where the laws of the land have changed and more is tipped in your favor, where your money and your influence goes way farther than North America. Me, myself, I'm also a product of my environment because I was raised by a married couple. Who was raised by a married couple? Who was raised by a married couple? So who am I to break tradition, right? But to wrap it up, I thought it was an interesting video to come on the heels of the Passport Bros discussions that have been occurring on social media. And hey, man, look, it's still some women domestically stateside over here that still got their head straight on their shoulders. Now, good luck finding them, my brother. But at the same time, the women got to go through the same the same thing, too. Right. They got to go through a whole bunch of dudes, a whole bunch of clowns to find that one real dude that's going. You know what I'm saying? So on both sides, it's a struggle. So welcome to modern society. And like I said, the men who control this society, they're trying to influence other foreign societies to relinquish their cultural markers as i like to call them and adapt the cultural markers of north america right and you can see the ideologies spreading overseas in small amounts in small doses right it's not spilling over right it's not flooding over but you can see the drops and the influence that have crept its way over into foreign territories but i don't think it's ever going to be a cultural takeover to where the women overseas become like the women over here because the men over there they control their societies their laws their media their culture so they got that in check the only way to impose that would be how they imposed their cultural markers way back in the day during the era of colonialism you'd have to literally deploy the troops and occupy the territory and force your way of life onto the people right so that's the only way it's going to fully spill over at most you're going to get some minor influence due to social media it's a global world so the women overseas the women in foreign countries are watching social media they're watching the women over here and they want to get like them right the women overseas they look up to the women over here because the women over here they seem to be empowered you know they can disrespect men you know just talk crazy to men and women over there 
they think that's fun like you know what i mean like it's like oh man look at them playing outside like it's like a kid who can't come outside and play and they see other kids playing outside so they want to go outside and, and shoot the ball around too that's what it, that's kind of it's kind of what it's like right the men overseas got everything structured in and in check and in line and they see the women over here playing outside you know what i'm saying playing kickball you know smashing the windows having fun so they want to be like the women over here too they want to come and go outside and play kickball and, and you know smash windows and, and cause mischief as well so you know it is what it is man but i don't think it's ever going to be a case where it's a full cultural takeover and the women overseas become like the women over here i don't think so man but yeah man it's your boy nevercard desaline back in the building yes indeed and i'm gone peace Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shoot. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genus. Falsifying information. Know they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Pay for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They make a no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art. And they can never be taught Selling my soul I can never be bought Play with my money I see you ain't caught Run to the check And I do it for sport Babylon falling I go to the source Packing my luggage And go overseas Shorty be with me And she so at least Shorty be charged And I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence Probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands Cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit And you're smacking their faces